Oh, hey guys, just ignore this. This is me making a thumbnail, but seriously, I think the best part of making a vlog, the funnest part, is uh, taking pictures of the thumbnail. <laughs> How's it going fellow photo files? My name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. Now obviously I have an Instagram account and about three or four months ago it was doing really great. It had like 6,000 subscribers, regular likes and all that cool stuff. And by the way for this channel to be awesome as well you gotta subscribe. Whoop, whoop. Now I did notice a problem that for the amount of followers I had the amount of likes wasn't really significant and also I didn't have the exact target audience that I generally would like to have following my account. Which is like the photography adventurous types which because back then I was doing like a lot of nature photography and outdoorsy stuff and so I decided to do a reset and I cleared out my account I used that cleaner app which unfortunately cleaned out way more than just the ghost followers and the stuff it promises and I was left at about 2,000 or so I don't know how interested those people are but okay I, I did a reset and my other problem was that I couldn't keep up with posting regularly the content that I wanted to like I was doing all kinds of nature things and hiking and when I was out hiking I could get a lot of photos and post them for the next 10 or 20 days depending on how many unique shots I got but then there are times when I'm stuck in the city I'm doing jobs for other clients and I can't get out into nature and all of a sudden I have nothing to post and that resulted in like weeks of no content from me or I felt I was forced to post some other content that wasn't aligning with what I was generally posting and which means it got a lot less engagement because the people who are following me are not interested in other types of content. So I cleared my account, I got rid of all the ghost followers, a bunch of inactive accounts, tried all kinds of things to clean it up and kind of start fresh. And I decided I don't want to stick to one particular theme or niche because my work and my interest takes me to many different places so I had to find another way to unite my theme. Now for anyone who's been Instagramming for a while you know that's pretty easy you pick a color theme but I haven't done that till now I just boosted the max colors out of every photo and I had really colorful photos and I still like that but I do realize the importance and benefits of having one unified color theme. So now my account is starting fresh and if you're so inclined go check it out and become a follower because I post cool photos every day or at the very least like this video. I went with a kind of moody teal and orange if you like even though it's more of a blue and red in many cases and this way even if I stray from my more consistent theme of like street photography and urban stuff that color theme will bring in any nature photo or animals or portraits whatever back into the grid uniting it with everything else because the colors are very similar. As you know there are several important steps to maintaining a successful Instagram account. For example, one, you have to pick a consistent posting time, two, you have to have a united color theme, three, you have to have a really good looking grid. Those are just some of the things, but those are the things that came to mind right now. So some of them are really straightforward. For example, I decide I'm gonna post every single day, so I do my best to post every day, roughly at the same time, but every single day. I picked a consistent color theme, which goes for all my new photos, but then I was stuck at the next step, which is how I want my grid to look. Now, before I was just posting however it fits, they were vertical, they were landscape, they were squares, and they just looked like a bunch of regular cells on my grid. I know some people do white frames, other people do black frames, other people uh, post horizontal and vertical one at a time, which is honestly just extra stress and pressure because you have to constantly think ahead of time and if you want to post a photo like this because it looks cool and then you can't because you need to post a photo like this because of your grid, it, it's just a lot to take in. So I was like, I'm going to do something different, something I haven't seen done anywhere before on anyone's account, anyone's grid, and I decided to tilt each of my photos just two degrees to the right I figured it might look good on the grid because when each photo is tilted you have these little borders which appear not because you made a border but because of the tail it can't yeah you get it now I can imagine this is not to everybody's taste not everyone likes tilts like my good friend Addis he hates when I tilt photos because I love doing things crooked and just giving a unique perspective but so far I think it looks pretty cool and definitely very unique and I've only gotten positive reactions from people who saw my grid they're like wow dude that's trippy if you're an Instagrammer tell me what unique things you're doing for your grid and in your Instagram account and link it below so I can check it out. Meanwhile, in other news, it's gonna be Azar's birthday yesterday so I, I made this little music box well I actually got this inside bit on eBay and then this box I found in a store nearby and I screwed in the holes and I made this little hole in the front and the back for the paper to go inside and we're gonna figure out how it's gonna look and sound you know I bet you can actually guess some of these tunes by the way they sound let me play them for you oh and of course you get these music strips as well you do kind of have to know uh, basic music and tabs and notes to be able to write stuff but it, it was fun and experimental and pretty straightforward. Let me put this inside and play it for you and see if you can guess the tune. Ready? I 
I know you music savvy people are gonna be like, that's a little bit off, it sounds weird. Yes, you're right, because there are no sharps or flats. I literally just get two octaves of the C key and I have to use what I have. Let's try another one, see if you can guess it, but this one's not so popular, so. Uh, hint, hint, it's Taylor Swift. Yeah. And if you remember my 500 subscriber giveaway, it's finally ready to post. So it's coming to you soon. Said he after he got more than twice the number of subscribers on his channel. I am such an efficient person. Well, peeps, be awesome. Thank you for watching. And as always, I'm going to see you guys next week. I have to write more melodies because one or two strips. I want to have like five strips.